Hi everyone, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today we are going to talk about hot spots. I'm going to go over three tips regarding what they look like and how dogs get them, how I diagnose them, and how we treat them. So hot spots are really, really gross. They're bacterial infections. They're superficial bacterial infections on the skin. That's why when you're doggy and you're petting them, you feel that greasy debris and that uh, it's like oozy and it's warm. It's because of the bacterial infection. Most of my owners, their first question to me is, but Dan, how did we get this? It just didn't come out of nowhere. I tell everybody that comes in for a hot spot, hey, we got this hot spot. It's gonna look great in a week or two. This will be fixed. My big concern is how can we make this look good long term? So I'm always asking about food, environment, any trauma, grooming, fleas, just trying to figure out what the primary cause could be. Because my goal is always to make sure that doggies don't bounce back with the same problems. Because a dog with a hot spot is really, really likely to come back if we don't figure out the primary problem. How I diagnose it is usually just the physical exam really hones me in. But the other thing I do is I shave the area and sometimes doggies are really painful and we need to get it shaved and cleaned. So I'll even sedate some doggies to get it done. But we'll shave it and before we clean it, I'll take the slide and press the slide up against the skin. I'll get an impression and that allows me to look at the cytology and I can go bacteria, bacteria, white blood cell, white blood cell, the the white blood cells have bacteria inside of them. So then I know it's a skin infection. I do this so I can be more confident. And it also allows me to not worry about more serious stuff. Now we go to treatment. I usually do an oral and a topical. So I'll probably give an antibiotic for the infection orally. And I may do a topical shampoo or something to keep the skin clean. Of course, this is all up to your veterinarian and they will do a great job recommending something orally and topically to help fix your dog's skin. Now, if we believe that your dog has an allergy, we, they may give something for the allergy. If it's just like brick red and it really hurts, they'll treat that. If they think it's caused by fleas, they'll give a flea med. You know, so we're gonna try to figure out what the primary cause is too, and we're gonna try to treat that too. While we treat the secondary, bacterial infection. I hope this is super helpful. If you like this content, if it's helping you, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And go ahead and post something in the comments so I can write back to you.